Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel. We are with Derpy Digital, or Digital Derp, that's what it's called. Uh, these guys keep researching everything while these guys keep working on updates for Paintball Puzzle Panic 2. Uh, I think, yeah, four updates sounds good. The price is currently, the, 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 the sales are going down for Paintball Puzzle Panic. Understandable, so. Uh, which is fine. Uh, after we research that topic, pirates, that is. Come on, finish it up. Good. Can't. Oops. Sorry. Cancel this. Uh, we're going to research a genre, F sport games. Obviously, uh, we did do some research on features. I think so. We can improve our engine here. Develop new engine. We're going to improve the puzzle engine, made for puzzles. Ah, right. I mean, it is for puzzles, but we want to use it for sports. Screw it. That's totally fine. We're still gonna use it for sports, even though it's made for puzzles. I'm totally okay with taking a little bit of a hit there. Um, okay, sports. Uh, could be a bit faster, but what can you do? As long as nobody's complaining, I'm happy because I don't want to get a new uh, place. Very good. Stay licensed, my engine. I wonder if I can squeeze another office in here. That might be interesting to have a second development office. Uh, you guys do some contract work real quick, yeah. Just while they keep researching sports. It takes a while to get that genre figured out. Yay, I researched my first genre. Now I can do subgenres. Uh, okay, we're gonna call this Gore Brawl. And it's gonna be a zombie sport game. Exciting. Sports. It's still gonna be a B game, even though we have more features available. And the target audience for our sports game is going to be teenagers. Uh, for whatever reason, teenagers are into sports games, as far as I know. Let's go ahead with the puzzle, puzzle engine, puzzle engine. And do we do a license? I mean, we could buy a license. Small Mind, Found Dagger, Martial Arts Grizzly. <laughs> Three and a half women. Hmm. What is this? This is a game license. The CGF Normal Regions. What? I don't even know what that what what that is, but I'm kind of intrigued. Very popular right now. Only two games, 188,000. I'll try it. I'll risk it. I will get this license. Uh, want to replace the name of the game with the license name? Oh, I had such a nice nice title. Um, the CGF Gore Brawl. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna call it Gore Brawl. I don't care if we if we use the license for this. I like the title way more. CGF Normal Regionals is a shitty title for a game. Let's let's be honest about that. Okay, platform, PC, and the Qatar. Oh, never mind. That Qatar is new. No, that's not worth it. Two percent. We're gonna get the Intel Visual and whatever these things are. Yes. Can I do a third platform? No. No. Can only do two. That's fine. Yeah. Twelve percent Intel Visual. The Intellivision, Vision, basically. Okay, graphics are usually a little bit more important in sports game. I don't think you need any story in a sports game. I would I would think not. Atmosphere I think is important, but functions are important too, depending what you need. If it's like, you know, you want to pass the ball, for example, and do all of these things. It should be beginner friendly, so you can give it to your friend, put it in his hand to control, and like, yeah, you play me now, and it's not a big deal. And for for, for both groups works with me and this we're just gonna balance out let's do gameplay oh hmm sure let's, let's keep it balanced technology let's put it a little bit towards graphics and gameplay and sure five languages sounds good we have too many features so we might as well turn these two out scripted ai sounds like a good thing to have joysticks are important no scrolling no scrolling Okay, here we should research B plus games now, even though it costs a hundred thousand. But it's going to be worth it. Paintball Puzzle Panic is currently reaching the end of its life. It made more than enough money. More than enough. It's been going for 37 weeks. Droids of Eternity gives us 71,000 thanks to licensing agreements. Ah, very nice. And all of this from the small room. Zortium! Hmm. From Nintendo. Hmm, could have been better, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna start complaining now. What was that? Publishing offer. Yeah, I'm not gonna publish anything. Don't don't be silly. Hadouken! 
Uh, should we research some genres? You know what? We should research the features, and then we could probably look into genres. Not a bad idea. I wish I could help this these guys out uh, with development. All right, this is gone. Made 1.55 million dollars. Fantastic. Ah, uh, Gore Brawl. New, do not publish it right away. Actually, we don't have a QA department yet. Yes, publish it. Uh, sports. Is anyone into sports here? Hello, sports? No. Might as well go with one where I have good relations with. <sighs> You've released your fifth game to increase your sales. You should develop games for multiple platforms. I agree. Ooh. Eh, it's okay, I guess. I'm gonna hit 50%. That's okay. Hopefully we still make enough money. Screw it, we're gonna get a small booth. Let's do it with Gore Brawl. Yes. And 1,300 fans. That's pretty neat. Right away, we're gonna develop an update for Gore Brawl. Make sure to keep its lifespan. It had 8,000 sales, that's actually not bad. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna break even with this. And Beach Volleyball. 91,000. You know what, this is working great. You guys keep developing while you keep researching. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do console research whatsoever. Uh, releasing your own console, that would be that would that would be the thing though. That would be the exciting thing. Should we go for topics or genres? You know what? Let's let's go for another one. Economic simulations. That's exciting. Uh, the, the, the Germans will like it. The big question though is now, what about what what about Sport. Are we gonna make another sports game or are we just going to wait it out until this all blows over? It's it's 30 more weeks. I kind of feel we should we should probably make another game. One thing I'm going to do though, even though it seems crazy, is I'm actually getting another development office. Uh, this is gonna get a little tight here. But let's make make this happen. Why not? They don't seem to need a staff room yet, so I'm not gonna give them one. One, two, three, four. Good enough, and we're gonna hire, again, a whole team of people. Hire staff. Game design. Programming. God, they all, they are horrible. Oh, and that's it, I could only hire two people. Oh no! We only had two people. Fine, might as well work on an update. For Gore Brawl. Any new features? No, nothing yet. We could improve, there's there's one more feature, right? That I haven't, yeah, safe game support. Totally going to do that, Six, 15% works for me. 16%, well, the, these guys upgrade, they're making an update. And over here, they might as well research topics. Just just keep working on it, keep working away on it, it's gonna be good. We'll need, we'll need another topic soon anyway. Okay, fantastic. We upgraded our engine, so we're gonna develop a new sports game. What else do we have? Sport. Ooh, pets! Ah, uh, something with pets. That's adorable. The Pet Olympics. That sounds adorable, and I love it. That sounds adorable. Target audience is gonna be... I don't know if teenagers would so much wanna play something like that. More like kids, but... Adults and teenagers like sports games, from what I remember reading. So, sports, there you go. Subgenre, mm. ooh, economic simulation, interesting. But I guess skill makes more sense uh, as a subgenre. I'm gonna use the puzzle engine and the pet Olympics. Yeah, no engine, screw that. I think that's why the other game, even though it only has 50%, is so successful thanks to its engine. Uh, we're gonna go on the pussy, on the Intel Visual, and let's see if there's another good kit. The CV. Yeah, 7%. Doesn't matter. We'll go for it. 7% of the market? Absolutely. Oh yeah. That that was actually really well chosen. Let's let's move this over. I think functions are important. Do we have some fan letters for that? Not really. And we didn't do any game reports. We should totally do some of those soon. Uh buy copy protection. 90% safe. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and develop. Oh yeah, right. For Five languages. It's the biggest chunk. Oh, I have too many features. Right, I'm going to have to deactivate some of those. We should have probably selected B, whatever. It's fine. If it, if it still makes makes us money, I'm, I'm happy. And a B game might have been too big, considering that we only have four chairs. Okay, develop a game update for Gore Brawl. 
Just just keep it alive. Let's let's see that it makes more money. It makes how much? Yeah, like twenty thousand still uh, per week. So putting another twenty in there just to keep it going longer. It's probably a good idea. It's a good thing. Okay, let's see if there's more st uh, staff available. Yeah, graphics. Absolutely, we're gonna hire this guy. And music and sound. Ugh. This guy really sucks when it comes to music and sound. Fine, fine. Doesn't doesn't matter as long as we have four people working on the update here. I'm um, I'm a happy happy camper. Gore Brawl was the worst game of the year. I lost all my fans. Are you for real? It was a 50% game. How was that the worst game of the year? Wow. That that's. That, that really hurt, hurts my feelings. Yes, publish Pet Olympics right away. Still no one that supports sport. Fine. We're going with Pandai. Works for me. Okay, how are you- why are you doing so bad? It's not even worth a look. It's not even worth a look, okay. I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll develop another one. 2000. Eh, could be better. Pet Olympics needs new updates. I should have gone with a B-sized game, 85 thanks to the Super Bowl. And once these things are done, I think I will be having one big development office with eight people instead of only four. Ah, this is not gonna break even, I think, at Olympics. Would be, would be fantastic if that was the case, but no. Unless it just keeps alive for super long, who knows. I don't think this can be safe, but I'll, I'll try it anyways. I'll have two two studios working on full updates, just to, <laughs> just to see what happens. Put another forty thousand in development costs in there. Uh, we're gonna cancel research here. I'm gonna research the polygonal three D renderer that we're gonna include in our to our new engine. Yeah, that was one update, and the second update. Well, we'll see how the sales do. Ah, uh, they stay pretty much the same. That's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bulldoze this whole room, yep. And I'm going to extend the size of this one. Make it nice and big, there you go. I hope I can squeeze four and there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, efficient use of space. Yes, you all go in there. You'll, you'll find something. And polygonal 3D render is nearly done. Actually, Pet Olympics might be able to like just break even at least. Okay, develop and wait, are you done? Now you're done. Oh, another feature available. Sure, do, do 16 color bit support. Oh, Brawl made a million. Improve the old engine. Polygonal 3D render, there you go. And now our current genre is, what is that? Fighting and space stations. Do I have space stations? I don't think I do. Okay, you might as well do some contract work in the meantime, while we have this huge office. Ooh, nice. I think having one engine and improving on that one engine makes way more sense. Let's go ahead and research f the fighting genre. It's gonna take us a while. In the meantime, we're gonna work for some contract jobs. And we could even do a game development contract. Yeah, look at that. 35% was that. 47%, 34 Yeah, we can totally pull that one off. 34%. Doesn't cost us too much. Be target audience. Right, what are we developing? A puzzle game. I know how to make puzzle games. I'm gonna go with seniors this time. And... Uh, wow. Yeah, we have way more available. Fantasy is always a nice genre, I guess. Using this really expensive engine is a problem, though. 166,000. Maybe because it selects all the things right ahead. Oh, I could still use the normal regions. Still popular license, intriguing. Hmm. No. No, 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 we're, we're gonna remove the license. We're gonna use this on our own game. It's for the CV22. We know that these things are wanted. Uh, concepts, where's my... 77 here, that's a good one. Copy concept. Good, good, good. Oh, right, we do not need any of this stuff. We don't need to pay for that. If the, if the publisher, if the person who hired us to do this once these features, they, they can have those. We're gonna remove the most, uh, the least expensive ones. And let's see how this, uh, how this does, if we're gonna make some money while we research the other topics. Puzzle engine, 18,000. Hmm, should we participate? Nah, we shouldn't. 
I see no reason. Pet Olympics is not gonna do too well. Having some fans would have made sense, I guess, but not for 100,000. You know what? Pet Olympics actually might break even. Makes like 6,000 a week, but it still makes money. <laughs> That's crazy that this still sells well. Magic of Pearl, yes, publish it right away. We just needed to go over like 32 or something? Either we're gonna get a big penalty. Nope, we make a profit of 46,000. I guess that's something. Our, our people learned to do something now. Okay, we're gonna research topics. Space stations, where are they? We don't have those yet. And anything that comes after that automatically. Yeah, let them, let them quickly research that. We do some contract work. Oh, wow, Pet Olympics just stopped selling all of a sudden. Just like that, taken off the market. Minus 5,000, you know what? That's okay, considering that it turned out to be a little bit of a shitty game. That's totally fine. Let's develop a game. We're still gonna use our license here that we had. Yes, it's gonna be a B-plus game about, where is it, space stations and fighting. You know what, I don't even know if that's a good idea. Uh, subtopic for, f uh, or a subgenre for fighting would probably be skill, I wanna say? Arcade, arcade. you know what, it's like Street Fighter. We're gonna call it Gravel Pathfighter. I regret nothing. It's a B plus. Target audience for our fighting game is going to be teenagers. Reminds me of The Simpsons with these when they have the brutal games. Okay, we're gonna go on PC. 4.6%. There must be a better platform out now. Yeah, the C63. Yes, we're gonna get that. And the Arcade 26... You know what? I'm gonna go for the Mimtendo. It's 50... Nah, not yet. Maybe. Screw it. We're gonna get for the, go for the Mimtendo. Doesn't have a huge market share right now. But we're going to be developing for that in the future, so might as well invest some extra cash money now. Fighting games. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit towards graphics. Uh, gaming functions, beginner friendly. I don't even know if it needs to be beginner friendly. You just need to be able to smash the buttons. Uh, this, yeah, this works well for me. Uh, any better copy protection out? Nope, so we can stick with our save force. And the concept is gonna be pretty balanced, I think. 30, 20, 20, 30, sounds good. Uh, we're gonna risk it with the regular five languages here and see how that does. I kind of feel we need a, a QA department, but we can't build that yet, right? No, not yet. We can do marketing. I guess we will get a quality assurance room as soon as we create enough bugs. Which should be any time now. Video game boom! 50% sales! Hooray! Finally something positive. It's usually only bad things, but finally I got something positive to work with. So in case the game gives me the quality assurance, where is that? Have minimum of 50 bugs in a game. Uh, yes, we're definitely going to have that. Then we get the upgrade for this. And then we'll build a little room down there. Come on, give me 50 bucks. Can I, can I have a few more? There you go. One of your games has reached enough graphics points. Oh, has it now? Quality assurance. We're going to squeeze that in here. We're going to need to see how many desks we can fit in. <laughs> I guess I guess two is the maximum. And can't do more. I was, I was hoping for more, but nope. No luck. Okay, you two go over there and start working on removing bugs. Hooray, Gravel Pathfinder. We can't improve gameplay just yet. Wait, why, why did you not? Come on. Go and work on the bugs, will you? Gravel Pathfinder, publish it now? No, do not. Oh, enough sound points. I think this one is going to do really, really well. How long are we going to sit on this game? They're so slow. Oh, unbelievably slow. Come on, guys. You, you, you can't do faster. I know you can. What if I turn this desk around? Can we then squeeze another desk in? Because it looks... Yes, this works. Good. Oh, good news. Good news, everyone. Oh, it's already full. Okay, no problem. Release game. Yes, without bugs. Find the publisher. Anyone interested in fighting games? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to go with our favorite publisher. How is it doing? Yes, 50%, that's good. I'm totally okay with this because we got uh, the license on it, which should help us out a bit. So we're gonna develop some game updates right away and see how it sells. Hopefully well. 
hopefully will. Yay, 20,000 units in the first week. That's fantastic. It's gonna do way better uh, over time. Yep. We're gonna be swimming in some money. Yeah, we will be moving to a bigger office. Uh, I think in the next episode. Right now, I'm happy how this is coming along. And we finally have a good start for everything. And I'm really excited for what's to come. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.